Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve level four in Candy Crush Friend Saga with the Jelly Queen special event, where we have 38 moves to spread the jam from two spots to 66 spots. So I see some jam here. Oh, and then it looks like this is all dark, so jam here. Jam on either end. If I collect a lot of these orange, then the Jelly Queen will help me. If I set off fish together, then they become three fish. I'm not spreading any jam yet, but I've got to get these guys open to do that. So I have to figure out ways to do that. I was hoping one of the fish would go that way. It didn't happen. Ooh, let's blow things up. That's always fun. There we go. That stripe took off. Nice. So now I've got the jam floating around. I will still make specials like this, even if they're not in jam when I have the opportunity. And yes, I think I will do this. Thank you very much. These things are super thick. I have to figure out a way to get through all of those. Oh, that jelly queen is very helpful in that regard. So I'm going to try to work in this area. Let's see, make some fish. Fish are helpful. They know where to go at the end. We'll send this off in a different spot. Oh, we got a color bomb. That takes out a color. Concentrates things down. Unfortunately, that was the cyan blue and not orange that it took out. Because I really want to get her filled. But look at this. That's got to be wonderful. And then, oh, no, 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 no. I want to do this first and I want to hold on to it. Oh, well. She took away that opportunity, so sometimes it's helpful to have her, and sometimes it's not so helpful. Let's see if I can get this stripe through here. I don't want to lose these. I should probably take them. It's going to make a nice wrapped wrapped, which is going to reach and do a double hit. See, now she's helpful because I didn't have a chance to see if there was any good thing that I could collect. Ah, let's see. No, that was not a good move. I'm just kind of throwing away moves now. Let's do this. It takes out a fish. It collects some orange. I'm getting some wrapped candies from here, which is nice. Bring these together. Now I could do a striped wrapped. I'm going to hold off and try to bring it a little bit lower. I know it's risky. And now I'll do this. This is going to hit a color. It's going to take out the most prevalent color on the board. In this case, it was green. So that concentrates things down for me. We collected orange in the process. Do I make this stripe? I'm going to make this stripe because it has a chance at least of sinking lower. Actually, now I think I will make this stripe. And let's bring things through. Oh, oh, hello. Craziness. I can make a wrapped here and I do love wrapped candies, but I want stripes to reach to the edges. Although, I don't think I get double strikes for that. Okay, I've got a fish, which is good. I'm going to make other specials in here to try to get to these corners. I'm getting this opened up. Let's see if I can make... So I've got a wrapped, but I need to bring things into position to help out. This stripe isn't good where it is, so yeah, let's set it with a fish and see where it lands. And remember, we're collecting these orange, so... The Jelly Queen can help us more when we do that. Should I? Nope, I'm going to do this one. And then I'll set this off and it'll reach all the way to the bottom and it's setting the fish in motion. So two more. One, two. Oh, all the way up to the top. This doesn't help. This does. Now three more. I wish I could get a fish. I can make a wrapped candy here. So this is where I look at the individual colors to see if I can convert any of them into fish. So we start with purple. I don't see the purple grouping together to make a fish. I don't see how to make a cube of four. And then green. Definitely not. I don't have enough green on the board. I mean, barely. Orange. Not quite can't quite group that together. Red. This feels like the best chance of it, and I don't see how to get it into a cube. I see how to get it into a wrapped. And then the cyan blue. There it is. See, this is why I try different methods. And then, this is it. All I need to do is set off one of these fish somehow. 
All right, so that's how I beat level four. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Oh, I should probably see, I think I might have a, a prize here. I'm gonna wait and see. Well, let's take a look if we've got boosters. Oh, here we go. Divine surprise. Oh, we get to fill her a little bit more, which is good. We want to collect her. Now, here's the thing. I say that I use boosters when I'm uh, kind of fighting these hard levels. The problem is I know that folks are stuck on level five and their boosters have probably been exhausted by now since they're timed boosters. So I, I think I'm gonna try it with the booster uh, because I want to get through these as quickly as possible. Oh, see these difficult situations I get myself into? <laughs> Thinking that's a hard thing. I'm going to go ahead and try it with the booster and see, because we generally do have a collection of boosters that we can use even if we don't have a timed active booster. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.